Today I'm back to create some spline tutorial for you guys. I'm gonna show you today how to make this 3D calligraphic pads and I'm finally gonna do it here in spline actually. Let's create a new file and I'm going to import the sketch that I created. Let's go down here in the left corner. You can see here the import, click on it. I'm gonna go with JPEG PNG and I'm gonna select the sketch. Let's go down and click on this blue circle. So it's gonna position it on the front. I'm gonna start with the letter S and click on the plus and you can see here the path tool. Click on it and I'm gonna drag it here and as you can see it created the first path and the second one gonna go here and just pull the handles so it's gonna make it curvy. And also right now it doesn't need to be perfect. You can see it's kind of incorrect at the moment. It has its own imperfections, but at the end we're gonna correct it. I'm gonna show you how. I also gonna to need to reduce the thickness of the typo. So I'm gonna select all the letters and I'm gonna go here to the path extrusion. The size is on 50 and you can decrease it or increase it. And I'm thinking to go down to 43. Now I'm gonna show you how to work with the pads individually and I'm gonna smoothen these out. You can double click and select this bent tool and I'm gonna go here to this path and drag it. And it's gonna create handles as you can see. I'm gonna go into the opposite direction like this and you also can rotate it and correct it. I'm gonna go here. And now it looks way better. And you can do another thing with the pad. For example, I want to move this part out. So I'm gonna select the arrow tool and I'm gonna select the path. And look at this, I can bring this out and customize them individually. You also can smooth out the curves on the letters. So for example, I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna go to the subdivision and increase it from 12. And you can see it is going to add more wireframe or if you decrease it, it's going to remove the wireframe. And you also can type in even more, for example, 50, and there you go. Okay, so after customizing the pads, the final design looks something like this. Before getting into more customizations, I'm gonna add some material on the text so it's gonna look beautiful. I'm gonna select the text and let's scroll down in the menu. Here we got the materials. All you need to do is go here to the four dots, click on the four dots, and you're gonna see it has a new material gallery here, which has some amazing materials. And you also can go here to the spline library all, and you can select here, for example, gradient, patterns, colorful metal, and you got all kind of materials here done by category. I'm gonna check out the colorful metal. Maybe I can find some iridescent combo, for example, this one. And now we're gonna go to the pad settings so all you need to do is go here to the pad extrusion and we can change the shape from circle to rectangle for example or polygon and we also got the star now you also can do a couple of things with these for example you can increase the sides of the star and it's going to multiply the sides and we also got the inner so you can see it will decrease or increase the sides and you also got the angles going on if you decrease, basically you're gonna see only half of the star. And you also got the corners. If you increase the corners, it is going to make the sides of the star more smooth. Okay, maybe I'm gonna change it to polygon. And I'm gonna increase the sides, increase the corners a little bit. Now let's check out the other options as well. We have here the depth. If you decrease it, it is going to disappear from the beginning to the end. You also can animate this and you also got the offset, which is basically going in the opposite direction. And then you got the angles. If you change it up, basically this is going to rotate the angles. And not but least, you got here the twist. So basically you can twist the whole thing into the opposite direction, for example. But as you can see for the letter T, it's basically too much twist. So I'm gonna select it one by one and I'm gonna decrease the twist a little bit more. So it's gonna look more similar to the rest of the letters. Nice. All right, let's check some other options. I'm gonna select all the text and you got here start scale. So if you decrease it, it's gonna make the beginning of the pass thin. And then you got the end scale. It is going to decrease the size of the other part of the ending of the pads. And that's how you can use the pad tool in spline to create 3D calligraphy. Thanks for watching.